A little over two years ago, I reviewed the Rockat Vulcan mechanical keyboard. This full-size board boasted optical switches, impressive lighting effects, and more configuration options than any sane person should try to explore. While I liked the keyboard for what it was, I'm personally a minimalist and prefer my keyboards to be more on the compact side. Evidently, I wasn't alone, because today Rockat is launching the Vulcan 2 Mini. The same great keyboard, but now 35% less fat. The Rockat Vulcan 2 Mini is a small form factor RGB optical gaming keyboard that launches today and retails for $150. Its 65% size is compact but still offers the same functionality as larger boards through configurable settings. It also has a couple features that have never been seen on a gaming keyboard before. And if by the end of this review you decide to buy this or any other product I mention, please use our affiliate links to do so. After being acquired by Turtle Beach in 2019, Rockcat's packaging has improved tremendously. Unboxing the Vulcan 2 Mini definitely feels like a premium experience, but you should probably expect that for $150. The packaging is descriptive and informative, and the inner padding helps protect the board. The only other things inside the box, aside from the keyboard, are the instruction manual and 6-foot USB-C to USB-A braided cable. Almost every other keyboard I've reviewed came with a keycap puller, but the shape of these keycaps make them significantly easier to remove than traditional keycaps. The review sample I received is white, but it comes in black as well. For the white model, an anodized aluminum backplate is left with its original silver coloring, but on the black model, the backplate is painted to match the black plastic shell. The body is a high-quality textured off-white plastic with tapered edges. It's relatively compact at 4.5 inches tall and under 13 inches wide. It's also comparatively light, weighing in just over a pound. Not many large peripheral manufacturers have a competitive keyboard in the 65% segment. For someone who personally loves this form factor, it's encouraging to see a big name like Rockat throw their hat in the ring. For the uninitiated, 65% simply means the board has roughly 65% of the keys that would come on a full-size 100% board. This means no function row, no dedicated media keys, and no number pad. That doesn't mean this functionality is lost, it just doesn't have a dedicated key. Like many other compact boards, the Vulcan 2 Mini has a function key that unlocks a secondary set of options. What's unique here is that the 30 keys that can be activated by the function key also have an accompanying symbol and LED. This means that specific keys have two LEDs, one positioned above the plunger for the primary function and one below for the secondary function. Normally both LEDs are lit, but the primary is brighter. When pressing the function key, the primary LED dims and the secondary gets lighter. According to Rockat, this dual illumination feature, they refer to as smart keys, is an industry first. Like many other gaming-oriented keyboards, the Vulcan 2 Mini has a game mode. This disables the Windows key and repurposes the Caps Lock key as an Easy Shift key. Similar to a function key, Easy Shift basically adds a secondary function to all other alphabetical keys that aren't already reserved as a function key. Whether it's a function key or an Easy Shift key, these secondary functions can be mapped to any other key on the keyboard, any key on a theoretical full-size keyboard, send operating system commands, navigate the internet, uh, trigger macros, perform multimedia functions, open programs, games, or files, and even set, stop, and reset an integrated timer. What's really clever is that the Easy Shift can be used across devices. Engaging Easy Shift on a Rockat keyboard allows a secondary set of commands to be mapped to a supported Rockat mouse. Since Easy Shift is designed to be user configurable, these keys do not have secondary legends or LEDs. In addition to Easy Shift, game mode also enables key remapping and macros. But for any of this functionality to work, Swarm needs to be running in the background. I've gone deeper into the Swarm software in a previous video, but just know it's Rockcat's peripheral software and it's used to modify device properties, configure keystroke and button assignments, and customize lighting effects. For a device as configurable as the Vulcan 2 Mini, the software is critically important. 
Another noteworthy feature of the Vulcan 2 Mini is its use of Rockat's new Titan 2 optical switch. This linear switch has a 1.4mm actuation point and 3.6mm of total travel distance. For comparison, the renowned Cherry MX Red switch has an actuation point of 2mm and a travel distance of 4mm, making the Titan 2s about 10% shallower. Operational force is identical on both switches at 45 grams. However, optical switches have a key advantage that makes them both faster and more durable than their mechanical counterparts. Mechanical switches register a keystroke by making physical contact with the metal plate. Optical switches operate by blocking an infrared light. This lack of physical contact means keyboards like the Vulcan 2 Mini can be rated for over 100 million keystrokes. These optical switches feel and sound like other linear mechanical switches, if not slightly quieter. Take a listen for yourself. I've seen other companies try their hand at manufacturing their own proprietary switch design. While many of them are good, sometimes they change up the keycap mount design, basically locking users into their selection of replacement keycaps. Thankfully, Titan 2 switches use the standard cross-mounted design for broad compatibility with keycaps from other manufacturers. The Vulcan 2 Mini boasts a 1000 Hz pulling rate, an integrated 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3 processor, and 4 MB of onboard storage for the five user profiles. Up top, a shrouded USB-C connector supports a six-foot braided cable, and underneath, the board angle can be increased by opening feet that rest at two preset positions. While this is completely subjective, I think the size of the Vulcan 2 Mini is just about perfect. My only complaint is that the bezels are on the larger side. Many of their 65% boards I've tested shrink their bezels in an effort to make themselves as compact as possible. I couldn't find information on the keycap material, but if I had to guess, these look and feel like double shot ABS caps. What I really like about them is that the white color and simple font choice make the text easily legible with both the LED backlights on and off. These can be swapped with other cross-mounted keycaps, but doing so means the secondary LED for the smart switches won't really be visible. Standard keycaps will also block some of the diffusion provided by a keycap design that leaves those sides exposed. Typing on the Vulcan 2 Mini is responsive, and the generous non-slip padding prevents the board from sliding around. As far as the keyboard switches are concerned, the Titan 2s are definitely on the quieter side. They feel like a quality Cherry MX Red clone, but a bit floatier. As far as I'm aware, the Titan 2s are only available in a red variety. The board itself is rigid and has to be one of the sturdiest keyboards I've ever tested. Even under stress, there's no rattling, creaking, or loose parts. The shrouded USB-C port is a nice touch and should help protect the cable where it's most vulnerable. However, it can prohibit the use of wider connectors. Physically, there's very little to complain about here. The Vulcan 2 Mini is a quality keyboard that's a pleasure to use, but that's only half the story. On a device this customizable, the accompanying software can either amplify or completely ruin the experience. If you've seen my other videos, you know I have strong opinions about peripheral software. Unless it's intuitive, stable, and actually adds something of value, I generally prefer to use the keyboard itself to perform basic customization. But I'm happy to report Rockat Swarm software does not fall into that category. I've installed Swarm with every Rockat device I've tested, and it's definitely improved since the first time I used it. It's snappy, non-intrusive, and the number of available options is genuinely impressive. There's definitely a learning curve to finding where various settings are, but Rockat provides decent walkthroughs on their website. My guess is most people won't explore even half of the available settings, but for those that need it, the options are extremely valuable. The Vulcan 2 Mini has a lot more to offer than what initially meets the eye. Despite only having 68 keys to work with, it provides all the same functionality as a much larger board, in addition to a few unique features. It's an attractive device that offers a pleasant typing experience. However, there are other devices out there that also look great and type well, and some of those are as much as $50 cheaper. Now I do recommend the Vulcan 2 Mini, but only if you think you can leverage some of its unique features. If you appreciate these thorough reviews, then consider subscribing and using our affiliate links to make your purchases. If you want a deeper look at Rockat Swarm software, consider watching my review of the full-size Vulcan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.